Uh, good result from us. Um, far from pretty. Far from the game plan that we wanted to execute. But um, you know, Robin said it after the game. You know, it's a sign of a good team when we can you know not have our best on the night and uh, and get a good result. We'll kick it off with Connor Cape, Al Two Sports Radio. Keegan, I know we just talked, so forgive me if I repeat myself here, but it's a clean sheet, and it's a clean sheet where you were outshot by Dallas, outpossessed by Dallas, and you just said that you feel like you didn't execute your game plan as well as you could have, but you still kept a clean sheet, still kept all the balls out of the net. What is it that gave you guys the ability to do that, even though it maybe wasn't as good as you thought it could be? Uh. Yeah, I think it comes down to work uh, work ethic. You know, the whole the whole group was up for it. The whole group deserves the, the you know the credit for the shutout. It's not just the back four. It's not just Will and Goal. Um, you know, it's all of us. It starts from the front, and um, you know, Will bailed us out a couple times tonight. He makes two incredible saves in, in the second half. Um, you know, one high with his left hand off the crossbar, one low down to his right, um, and then we, you know, left and right we have guys making blocks. Uh, but again, I mean. It, <laughs> It's frustrating because it shouldn't come down to that for us. It shouldn't come down to such clear-cut chances. We don't want them to have more possession. We don't want them to have more shots. Um, so again, it's it, it's interesting. You know, we you know we're obviously thrilled with the result, but we're we're a little frustrated with how the game actually goes. We've got a Matt Pollard. Last word on soccer. Keegan, congrats on the win. Uh, tell me about your goal. I know you had a really good banger last year against uh, against Seattle. Uh, yeah, obviously happy to um, to help the team, um, you know, get us off the mark. It usually frees us up a little bit. But, um, you know, I said it in the radio interview uh, just after the game. I kind of sometimes when I'm, you know, in those spaces, I'm too eager to get it to Mikey or too eager, eager to get it off my feet just to keep the tempo high. Mikey's so good 1v1 to get him, you know, the ball early with space to run out of guys. Sometimes more advantageous than, you know, us, us lash, lashing at a shot or a cross. But, um, yeah, I, I took it well. Uh, you know, I had the space and I uh, found the bottom corner. Happy, happy to help the team. We'll go to Brian Jennings, bringing the wave. Hey, thanks, Keegan. Uh, you, you touched on it a little bit earlier, but can you can you kind of expand on it a little bit? You know, you guys as a back four, I th but also Pricey coming in there, and then you also throw in guys like Cole and Johnny coming on on the wings. You guys recover so well and defend as a unit. What what's been key to that, or you know, how do you guys work that throughout the match? Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think it's just something that we like to think is our identity and something that we build around. Um, every single guy wants, wants the result, wants the game, wants to play the right way for the guy beside him. Um, and that's, you know, that's why I want to credit the shutout for every single guy on the field. It's not, it's not the back four. It's not Pricey. It's not Will. Um, you know, it's the subs, too. They come and they work their butt off. And, um, and you know, that's what it is. You see uh, a forward making a 30-yard recovery run to, to track down you know, the guy with the ball to not give him time and space. You know, that's the kind of kind of stuff that we build on, and obviously the stuff that we can control night in and night out. It wasn't pretty tonight, technically. Um, game plan wasn't wasn't perfect, but I mean, we're always going to come, we're going to show up, and we're going to work our butts off. I'll go back to Matt. Keegan, on that note, Danny Wilson with a couple of really good battles with Frank O'Hara, both on the ball and I'd say literally in the second half. What's he doing really well right now from a defensive standpoint, given he did similar things to Lucas Cavallini and he's done it all season long? Uh, I mean, he's smart. He's outsmarting these forwards. He's a, he's a really good defender. He's got tons of experience. He comes from you know good teams and good experience in his career. Um, and he's a leader for us. Uh, he knows what he's doing, and he's not afraid to voice, you know, uh, what he sees and how things should be done. And um, you know, I still like to think of myself at times as a, as a young player and still gaining experience. And um, although at times one of our more experienced guys, I'm you know always looking for for ways to grow and ways to learn. And I know that the guys uh, you know next to us uh, in the back four and on the field are, are the same way. So um, I think Danny's really taken on a great role this year, and um, you know he's been one of our best, if not our best, defender this year.